Y'all see the flag, y'all already know. It's good, Homer Squad. It's a boy, Homer Ziggy. And just wanted to say, Sapase to all the Haitians out there. Happy Haitian Flag Day. Now, y'all already know. If you've been in my. Been in on. <laughs> Look, this is just straight, raw, uncut. Y'all already know what my videos. But if you've been in the early like stages of my channel and such if you like watch some of my earlier videos and such before i started doing reactions and whatnot y'all already know i've always shouted out either my haitian church or just mostly well just mostly my haitian church ugh, mostly my haitian church and y'all know that whenever it comes to me I will always want to shout out all different cultures and such because you know I'm Jamaican I've always said it in my videos that I'm Jamaican like yeah but mostly I always want to shout out the Haitian culture because it's something because ever since when I because I want to say this sorry that it fits like one sorry well one sorry that if i have to use my obs recording because i like that and two sorry if you hear any backgrounds but basically the thing is i want to say this that ever since like from when i came to the u.s right like the number one thing the uh, like before any like this is just like i said raw and uncut so i just want to take i just want to show you how much of my point of why I like the Haitian culture so much. One, and like from many years that basically from 2014 when I came up here to the US, right? They didn't know nothing about there was like never because I know about there was like more countries out there because I didn't think there was like just only Jamaican and so on so because there had to be like more other countries out there. So yeah. But this is just me from when I'm like coming up to the US at 13, right? They didn't know about any other cultures out there because I always thought like if you was just born in the US, you was American and so what. But it didn't apply to me until when when I got to high school up here that started at 20, like around at the end, like in my ninth grade year basically, where I met a girl where i met this late this little girl <laughs> well if she sees this video or you know, basically when i sent this when i met this girl in ninth grade she was haitian and then when i get to look at it i figured i looked at it as like i never at that point i never even knew that she was haitian because y'all know me I don't because normally I don't judge people about how they are in such I just if it's they're a friendly person they're a friendly person but then I realized she's Haitian and I thought to myself at that point like I didn't know until when like recently the very next year in such in around 20 around 2015 that when May 18th came around I was like why is there a lot of why is there a like this uh, and I'm, I'm gonna say a little funny thing right here before that like around 2015 right i was wondering why is why do i see freaking haitian flags all around because this is a thing i know i like about y'all y'all ain't i don't think if it's around 2015 maybe 2016 or so and so but one thing i noticed with y'all is yeah, when May 18th comes around, y'all ain't scared. Because I feel like the t it's basically like this. The two, any times when you guys, you Haitians, just go blank out with showing off y'all colors. Hey, I don't blame y'all, but I'm just saying when y'all go blank, when y'all go out, y'all go out. I'm talking about, you see like for right now you see me with just the haitian flag right y'all come out with a big ass haitian flag you got the haitian colors that y'all do the makeup y'all go head to toe in haitian color so hey 
shit. <laughs> I, I know I'm Jamaican, we love hard culture, but hey, this is a Jamaican saying this. I feel like y'all go up and beyond. So look, I'm not trying to say this as no hate, or I'm not trying to say this because look, I'm Jamaican, I love my culture, I know what my culture is all about, and I'm always sticking towards it. But like I said before, with me, I always want to show love to any other culture. It's just that with with the Haitian culture, I feel like that's the most love I ever show to any other culture. Straight up. But yeah, back to this back to this little story. I'm like wondering why the hell I see like freaking Haitian f colors all around. And then I realized it was Haitian flag day that I never because like I oh, and actually I want to say it's like fast forward to at least two years in 2016 around my 10th grade year or so like I'm wondering why there's these Haitian flags around and such and I figured hmm because and I figured because there was actually it was before this look it's gonna be a long story so well I won't say a long story but if this video gets long yeah so it was basically like before Haitian flag day came up because there was going to be an announcement about how tomorrow is Haitian flag day so for all Haitians out there or people who want to participate in Haitian flag day wear your colors and such or basically just saying that tomorrow is going to be Haitian flag day so to be honest I didn't pay attention to it at that time so yeah so with me what I can re I can remember this like it was yeah that so I literally just wore like Plain, like I was wearing full white, full white t-shirt, white pants, white sneakers, yeah. And, but the thing is with me, I had on, a, I had my Jamaican jacket. I had like a big Jamaican jacket on, right? And I had my Jamaican flag in my pocket. So, the thing is that while every while i saw every haitian out there was wearing their colors and so and so i was like the only jamaican there well <laughs> yeah only student there even though he wasn't haitian well no you basically what i'm trying to say is i was the only jamaican there that was wearing my wearing my colors from head to toe well just wearing my jamaican jacket and my jamaican headband <laughs> and uh, while on the ride home like onto the school bus I feel like I was like in a way I wasn't embarrassed but hey, it is what it is but yeah it is what it is but either way but then fast forward like 2019 now y'all saw a video where I posted back at 2019 where I did like go to the Haitian my Haitian church family and trust me the, that first one y'all saw, the 2019 one, trust me, that one, that one was a lit one, without a shadow of a doubt. Y'all saw me there dancing, we going, da 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 and the thing, and y'all saw it on when I posted another one, which was 2020, basically, or 2021, could be either last year or the year before, but. I posted another one and it and even though we did somewhat of a source of the same thing as 2019 it was it was still fun but it wasn't like how 2019 was I'm just saying but the thing is I want to say this the reason why I cuz and honest to God like I said this is off cut raw as it can be I literally like before I started turning on this the started recording and such i like want to search up how is jamaica and i was like haiti in jamaica like in a way like like this right and i ain't gonna like i ain't gonna lie i don't want you to be curious and it turns out like haiti was like the first black like the first country to have independence because even though jamaica and haiti were at the same time endured in the slavery days they were the first one to get like independence and such before like any other country was so hey that's why i say shh. if y'all were the first black people to gain independence oh trust me even though we 
look at the end of the day i may joke around and search with sap i say whatever and so and so but hey all i gotta say is this one thing with me you will oh you will never hear me trying to disrespect a country i may because here's the difference with me i may joke around as much and so but at the end of the day i know deep down there's a there's a history of why the, the haitians no matter how they are and so how they are so i can't so that's one thing you will never hear me disrespecting is why like you would basically you would never hear me disrespecting haiti so that's why you always see me repping repping their flag or wanting to listen to some of their music because at one point at the time i did listen to some haitian music on a pandora like i used to listen to it i don't anymore but trust me throwing a good j throwing a good haitian beat just a good haitian beat and trust me even though i might not know what the heck they may be saying sorry i just like the way how it i would just like the way how it goes and such but yeah that's basic i just wanted to say this i didn't if it's too long or so i just want to say shout out to y'all because trust me even though i didn't get to do much of today and such just wanted to make this little video shouting out all the haitians out there and shouting out for y'all for actually being the first black people to have gain independence hey that's a shock for me but yeah hope y'all enjoyed this little video man and any haitians who see this and such hope y'all subscribe and such so that way you hey you never know i might want to react to a haitian rap song where even though if it isn't haitian if it is by a haitian rapper wish it would have a little english in it just saying but yeah hope y'all enjoy this man then one last time sh happy haitian flag day to all of y'all to the zoos out there and such been your boy humble ziggy signing out stay positive and keep the vibes up and I don't, shoot, I wish I would know how to say shout out to y'all in Creole, but I ain't gonna even try it. But shout out to y'all, Lego.